What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Essentials You Guys Need in Your Wardrobe, yes, aka our Richie Lee Collection Spring Drop, which we'll be releasing this Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, sharp on richielee.com. And if you guys are new to the channel or even the brand, things are going to sell out pretty fast, so be sure to know exactly what you're going after. Exactly, and this is just kind of a breakdown video that we always do, letting you guys know exactly what you're getting yourself into yep. with each and every single piece as far as sizing, the colors, the details, all of that. But enough talking though i say we get into the first piece first item right here we got the daily long sleeves inner three pack tan probably one of their favorite items that we've ever released as far as the t-shirts go for sure you guys asked for the long sleeves here they are similar uh, i would say similar palette but we did kind of put more emphasis in like the shade crazy color combination exactly. This one turned out absolutely insane. One of my favorite things about this item has to be the fit. I feel like oh, yeah. a lot of long sleeves are just too tight around the arms For and sure. everything. Too of a standard fit. Exactly. And this has that perfect slight drop shoulder that we always like. And I wear size medium in these. And I feel like it just gives me that perfect oversized fit. True. I feel relaxed. You know, oh, yeah. enough aeration in the sleeves. Rock them in the warmer weather. Exactly. Because sometimes long sleeves could tend to be a little more standard fitting. Mm -hmm. We definitely made sure the fit was perfect on these. Yeah. More of like a, a street wear look and one thing i want to get across with this collection is this is kind of like our core collection mm -hmm. you know like every single piece can fit nicely in your rotation you're gonna find usage out of every single item that we're releasing this spring i mean it's a true core essential collection you can't go wrong with any of these pieces overall super excited that we can offer these in our three pack saving a lot of money the colors came out great we Perfect. got the wash black the cream and the stone gray i say we move on to the next piece though we got a lot to go over all right so next item we got the four pocket nylon over shirts in charcoal and olive super excited to roll these out because for the longest time we've actually been rocking the prototype version i remember people went crazy when you yes, first sir. wore it and you post on instagram i mean it's here now i just love the details that went into this i mean the quilted nylon inside lining. right here the lining the flare out when you're rocking them it just looks better than your over shirts that we've seen you know exactly and speaking of over shirts we wanted to do this item where you could just throw it on anything super comfortable very light it's almost like a shirt yeah, it's not like super stiff or anything like mm -hmm. that. A uh, lot of details went into this shirt. We did a lot of trial and error, basically. For sure, for sure. And as far as sizing goes, you rock your size I rock medium. A medium yep. I rare a medium as well, but it does look oversized. I like layering it with pieces like you mentioned earlier. All right, guys. So there we have it for the four pocket nylon over shirts. Definitely a really cool piece. Let's move on to the hoodies next. Woo, so next item right here, we got the daily hoodies, a fan favorite. You guys oh, yeah. really like the past ones that we dropped. We're coming back with three new colors. We got M emerald green black and a really really nice navy right here man these are always a go-to for me i'm so happy that we were able to perfect the fit throughout the years mm -hmm. when it comes to our hoodies slight drop shoulders i almost feel like most brands that do offer the drop shoulder look a little too overwhelming you know they're, they're trying to capture that yeezy hoodie vibe they're just overdoing it I feel overdoing like. it look like a big blob <laughs> a big you know blob, a big... like there's no structure to the hoodie yeah when this you're... looks a little bit more like presentable exactly when you're rocking it you feel good you look good and again cozy and going off of that we stuck to the fleece mm -hmm. ultra ultra soft on the inside I really like the outside of the hoodie. I mentioned that in the last video that mm -hmm. we did. There's just something about it that feels a little bit more like sleeker than your average hoodie. It's not going to come across like your champions where it's like true, true. rough and tough. You, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you see these in person, it doesn't feel like you could go into the gym in these you know exactly exactly and the weight is perfect it's yeah. not too light not too heavy just a nice uh comfortable weight and another detail that i really like are these light gold eyelets that we've included just like a cool accent color to our hoodies makes it stand out just like an underrated detail for in my sure. opinion and when it comes to sizing i am rocking a medium for that standard look i rock a size medium as well um colors came out crazy what is your favorite one i'm gonna have to go with uh <sighs> I'm gonna have to go with the navy actually. Some navies could tend to be a little bit uh, bland. Too dark. Too like, dark. Yeah, yeah. It almost kind of gets mixed in with black when it's like nighttime. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad this one has a little bit of a pop, but not too overwhelming exactly, when it comes to navy. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I rocked the black one like every single day. Green turned out crazy. Can't go wrong with any of them. There we have it for the daily hoodies. Um, like Tan said, standard sizing for these. Size up if you want that oversized look. Let's move now to the bottoms which are crazy in this drop. So starting off the bottoms, we got the carpenter pants 
four colors and when it comes to the colors each one will have a nice subtle wash i feel like we perfected it super super minimal and uh really really cool because it really hit on the inseams yeah. right here my favorite part about these pants is like you're getting the best of both worlds you're getting that carpenter pant look true but with a tailored fit you know and i feel like other brands they tend to do it a little too baggy way too baggy. and then even though you like the look and the style you just can't really pull it off i feel like with ours the fit is right and as far as the colors go you got a super unique gray right here mm -hmm. gonna go crazy with a lot of like different sneakers and just that color combination Very true on um, this olive the olive is the low key because fire. It's almost like in between a little bit of like a burnt brown. Yeah. And then it has a hue of green to it. It's different than all the olives you ever did. Yeah. A lot of people were asking about these in my like Intel video I yeah. did when I wore these with the uh the Travis Scott Lowe's. Ooh. It was just like one little scene and people were like, hey, what pants are those? I think they like took screenshots, yep. posted it on IG. Um, you got a very stand like this is your classic carpenter pant color. You know exactly. that? Exactly. It's that a rustic tan. It's a rustic tan. It doesn't come off too much. Much like a like a preppy khaki. Nah, this is fire right here. Like, like super that. fire. And then you got a classic wash black. Can't go wrong with those at all. And overall, guys, when you guys get these in hand, you will feel what we're talking about as far as the details and quality. Like um, I'm gonna you're getting a ton of bang for your buck with these. Going off of that, I'm gonna say these are one of my favorite bottoms mm -hmm. when it comes to actually the construction of the pants. Exactly, exactly. Fit is fire. Uh definitely do not sleep on these. These are a must-have. You're a size 30? I'm a size 30 in these, yeah. Different than the denim that we're going over. I'm a size 30. I'm a 32, 32. and they do come a little bit looser, relaxed fit. Yeah, so it's a fire fit. Woo, so next pair of pants, we got the wax black denim right here. These turned out perfect. It's just something about how they sit on your sneaker. I, I don't know if it's like the construction of the wax on the uh, fabric or something, but these sit super nice. I know we dropped a pair of back pants before, but I would say these are way more improved when it comes to the fit and just the comfort. I mean, they do have a little bit of stretch to them. You're going to be able to wear these year after year. Yep. Like everybody makes black pants, like every single, like even Target. For but sure. it's the details that really separated apart. We just added like that perfect amount of wax finish that just gives it that nice stack it almost has like a nice a starchy feel to them yeah to where even though they're stretchy they're not going to be uh like loose and everything nah yeah these are definitely really really dope nah. very very slight whisker crease marks to the knee area also in the thigh like it was just all about the details. And I really feel like that's what kind of embodies this entire collection. Yeah. You're getting your more basic pieces, but the details are what really separate them apart. You know? Exactly. Like we said, we dropped these before, but I'm just glad that we're able to bring it back for you guys. Even way better and more improved. Way better adjustments. So yeah, the black wax denim right here. These are... Fit is crazy, really, really nice quality, and yeah. True to size, I mean, I rock a 32 in these. Mm -hmm. Rich, you kind of flow between a 30, 32? 30, 32, I've, I've worn both. I can't really pinpoint which one I like more, but uh, yeah, 30, 32 in these. So yeah, we got the black wax denim, really, really solid. All right, Tan, so our only pair of shorts in the spring drop, you know, easing our way into the warmer exactly. weather. These are crazy. We got the camel utility cargo shorts. I'm kind of glad we went with camo. Yeah, I mean, not even just any sort of camo. Like, there's a ton of camo swatches that we uh, have seen, but this one's just like that right hue, not too like army fatigue. You don't want to see the contrast between the fatigue colors, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's why I like, and the wash really does help kind of dull down the camouflage. Yeah, the construction of them is really, really durable, just like really great quality. Um, Almost like you're getting, like, we might have to turn these into some pants. I was I'm just going to say, because right everyone's fire. used to seeing these more in the nylon. Yeah. This is going to be a different fabric, more Definitely. of a cotton, more rugged. Above the knee, if you guys are familiar with our previous utility cargo shorts, this is the same exact cut. Exactly. So keep that in mind. This is our most limited item. So if you guys are eyeing these, definitely go for them first. Yep. Anything else? Shoot, I appreciate that we have kept the lining. I almost feel like that's going to be something that kind of adds comfort to the yeah, utility yeah, shorts. for sure. All right, guys, the utility cargo shorts in our camo wash, definitely a hot item. Woo, so saving one of the most anticipated items for last. You guys go crazy for our denim. Uh, we got two washes right here. Let's go over each one. So this one right here, we got the RLC 119. Mm -hmm. What do you like about these, Tam? These ones right off the bat, you have the subtle paint marks yeah we did one similar on the last drop those went crazy those were a darker wash it's almost like spring and you're kind of going into the summer they could have been lighter they could have been darker but i feel like we hit nice it right point. when it comes nice to the wash middle point we're always big on that you know just the right amount of cream trust me guys when it comes to our denim we focus the most when it comes to these items because again the just, washes matter 
I, I feel like it was what we kind of like started off with as far as like what are we going to focus yep. in on the most? Because we were just huge on washings. Yeah. I've been big on SLPs back in the day. All the crash denim. Like, we got to implement what we love about those exactly. expensive denim. All of our denim these. are inspired by what we're into, what yeah. we like. And as far as sizing goes in these, actually rock a size 32. Mm -hmm. And it gives me a little bit more room, more comfortable, which I really like. And yeah. again, all of the denim will have a little bit of stretch to them. So the more you wear them, the better they're going to actually feel. Yeah, that stretch goes a long way. We don't, like, we I, what do we do? Like, 1%, but it goes a long way exactly. that just allows you without, to just without jeopardizing the hand feel exactly the hand feel like even that like the, it's a little rougher you know exactly. like i don't like when denim are feel like too smooth on the it's finish. almost like when there's too much stretch it, they don't really come off like denim yeah, you yeah. Know? so and then these right here we got the roc Ooh. 112 rustic wash nice like uh what is this the reconstructed patch? reconstructed patch obviously you guys can kind of do your own diy Get snip it if you guys want to or just kind of naturally let it kind of tear the more you wear them yeah you could snip this right here and you're still gonna have fabric underneath it's not gonna expose your like knees and everything exactly. if you want you know some thread because sometimes down. you don't really want to have that hold that you know thrasher yeah. look that yeah. kind of comes off a little too grungy that's why we're calling it reconstructed because yep. yeah it's almost like it got stitched over when it comes to the denim we always try to perfect it and make it even better. These two right here have to be part of one of my favorite washes that we've ever done. Yes, sir. Spring washes, ROC 119 and 112. Can't go wrong with either. Both give you different vibes. Like you can see right here, there is a difference between both of them. Oh yeah. At first when we were picking them up, I was like, ah, are they gonna be too similar? But nah, they're, the details. they're totally different. Like the base of them is different. This is more of like a summery, like light uh, blue hue. This is gonna give you more of that rustic look. But yeah, pretty much like Tan said earlier, if you guys are new to the channel, new to the brand, uh, the denim does go out pretty quickly. Oh yeah. So just just keep that in mind. A lot of people like reselling these and whatnot, and uh, we do spend a lot of time on these. Woo, so wrapping this one up, Tan, is there anything you want to say? Woo, probably one of my favorite collections. You really can't go wrong with anything. So nah. make sure you prioritize your list. Yep. If you don't, you know, if you strike out, get carjacked, whatever, it's okay to settle for something else because you can't go wrong. You're not going to regret it. Yeah, yeah, you're not settling. You're, you're not, not settling. settling. I feel like we like kind of went back to our core, like yeah. essential pieces, details in them, like that separated. I mean, we base our pieces off very expensive oh, brands. For sure. You know what I mean? For like sure. We really take into account the buttons, the fit, the, just the everything, weight, everything. everything. The weights. And like always, thank you guys for the support throughout the years. Shout out to Tan. You know, this is the first breakdown video that you've yeah. ever been a part of. So, you know, it's pretty cool to have you here. And, Trust you know, showcase me, first drop like. of the year. Keep following the page. Thank you, Newsletters. Guys. Sign up for those. Everything. Yeah. It's, it's really cool to see just how far everything has came and how intricate the pieces are and the details. Like, we've never shied away from the uh the the, the, the essence of the brand which yeah. is giving you guys value bang for your buck quality pieces all the pieces and uh yeah man hopefully everybody eats on saturday let us know tag us in your orders and everything we love seeing that tag us in your you. tag us in your orders uh tag us in your instagram post yes, sir. you know at richie lee collection always like seeing the outfits that you guys put together with everything and uh yeah just i could cry right now like that's just reflecting how far we came, For you know. Sure. I mean? oh, yeah. I re I'm thinking about that one time we did the video where we were uh, vlogging when you were talking about the cargo ship and everything. Oh my gosh! I don't know. Came a long way, but still got a lot of good things ahead. Let us know down in the comments below what you guys are eyeing. If you guys have any sizing questions, I'll answer all of the sizing questions you guys have. Mm -hmm. um, Tan's always answering questions as well. Check the RLC for more updates, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 9 a.m. RichieLee.com. We'll see you guys on there. Yes, sir. Peace.